hides, and you know, being that I'm not a shitty player, I have dust. Surprise, surprise. So, he ends up losing an archer there, and I. I just I did call militia and send them towards the middle in the event that there was going to be a big fight, but there wasn't, so it's was no big deal. Usually when you're doing a rifle push, uh, fights at the tavern are very, extremely important, usually game-breaking, and you kind of have to do it right. So anytime, if you have the excess lumber, which I did, I just opted to bring some militia towards the center, just in case. Um... Here, I'm just sort of focusing archers and trying to make them use Moonwall Juice, because I'm going to immediately push as soon as I can. Uh, here, I just focused on this de Demon Hunter, because, like, the more you focused on heroes that use mana, the better off you're going to be. So the moment I started focusing his Naga here, it was dead. And it's really important to realize uh, how the Night Elf is positioning their units, because not since the Naga is the thing that's going to die the fastest, you have to figure, okay, well, I can kill the Naga right now right because I have my Naga has boots their Naga doesn't and their demon hunter isn't posing a threat to any of my units that would deal the correct amount of damage to kill the Naga so I mean you have to be able to recognize times like that and I mean it was just again one of those times where it was very easy for me to recognize that the Naga was going to die and even if he would have ran it away he probably would have get, gotten screwed over anyway though he probably should have tried to micro a bit more and here's my noob rusty self who realizes his arcane sanctum blocked his way, so he has to rebuild it, which actually sets me back a lot more uh, than it should have. Which is, it's extremely unfortunate when something like that happens with this because you need the units uh, more so than you would normally. All right, so the nine elf player at this point should be recognizing that I'm going to do some sort of push because of how aggressively I played. I stock up on some towers here. Um, with my Archmage, because even though the towers aren't as good, they still apply an innate pressure to the Night Elf player. I mean, a lot of the times Night Elf will just see towers and fucking freak out and be like, gotta kill the towers, gotta kill the towers, but the reality is a lot of the time they really don't until later, and it's even more so true with the recent patch. So just pushing down there with some towers, like, forces the Night Elf to think, oh boy, I gotta do something quick. It sort of puts think puts sort of this timer on the night elf player that may or may not be there depending on your army and how many towers you're building. Um, here he has um, vision in the middle of the map, so he starts building his ancient protectors immediately, knowing that he will lose <laughs> if he doesn't, and he's probably going to lose anyway, uh, just because my army is ridiculous. And all he has is an archer, a dryad, and two heroes. Which is nothing. Um, here, just sort of, <laughs> this tower just gets taken out immediately. Usually the first thing you want to focus is either the Demon Hunter or the Dryads. Right here I focus the Dryad that's uh, most easy to beat. And then this other Dryad, because it's a bit out of position, it was sort of forward. Here, again, Naga's out of position, focus it. Like It's just sort of, you go down the line. Uh, the Nile player didn't really take the correct precautions in, as far as, like, where to put his units, he should have probably just swept them off on top of the moon well and fought me in a narrow narrow ca tavern, cavern type thing there. Um, if you look, the Ancient Protector just went up, um, which is fucking unfortunate for me because it's going to make the game way longer than it needs to be. And you're going to see me throw away most of my army but make a comeback, which is the awesome thing about being Joseki is that you can, or the awesome thing about being human is that you can just waste your army and if you have a couple towers up, you'll win the game. So basically, at this point I realized with two ancient protectors there's no way, I have absolutely no chance, so I just go ahead and go for this one. Then I think, hey, you know, this guy fucking sucks, so I'm just gonna be really cocky and try and take out his other ancient protector, which of course fails. Um, he just has so many units, and my army's in a horrible position right now, it's getting hit by virtually everything in his base. Um, he brings wisps up, and I'm like, okay, well... I guess I don't really have an answer to what you're doing here, except we're focusing your DH some more. Um, and yep, so now I basically don't have an army. And it kind of sucks. And I'm like, oh god, I gotta focus this demon hunter as two potions. Yeah, okay, really bad. But still, uh, I have tower up, and you know, he really can't, he still really can't fight me one on one, because. 
no matter what, his Demon Hunter has virtually no HP, and even if it has a potion, it's not like that great or anything. Simply on the level that, sir, he's going to bust a potion and then lose all his health and run away and potentially die, or lose all his health, run away, and then sit in the back of his base, which is what he's doing now. So he chose not to bust the 50 gold and just wait. Um, the thing with what he's doing right now is his Demon Hunter is not leading this. You can never send Dryads alone, and as good as Dryads are, their ability to be good is only based on the other units in their army. So, yeah, the Dryad's a weird unit like that. It's extremely good, and then once it's all alone versus Riflemen and Water Elementals, they pretty much suck. Um, at this point, I realize that I could very easily lose this game if I'm not careful. So, the basic idea is once you get your towers up and you're trying to fight Ancient Protectors, is you have two options. A, slowly tower in, which is completely out of the question in this case, because as you can clearly see, I don't have any lumber, and I just lost another sorceress because I'm a total idiot. Um, so, I mean, the other option is basically kill the buildings you can that are out front. Uh, in this case, I'm a little lucky because a lot of, all of his moon walls are really out front towards my towers, so it makes it a lot easier for me uh, to cripple any chances he has of rebuilding and fighting me back. And of course, piercing damage is pretty nice, so the towers are doing very well at this point. Basically the only reason why I'm winning, and as I said, even though the towers got patched, they're still really good, because I'm able to sustain this push. And I probably would have ended up losing this game if I didn't tower, uh, not just because I threw away my army, but in addition to throwing away my army, it was like, I don't think that I could have stayed in the Night Elf base for as long as I did if I had towers, because what happens is they keep making it night, and then it becomes night, and then once it is night, you're pretty much fucked by virtue of the fact that they have unlimited healing and rifles don't have enough DPS. Uh, because of the damage armor type of heroes, so they just have absolutely no way of fa doing the, enough damage to counteract the amount of moonwall juice that they're absorbing, just because piercing does 